Udemy promotional agreements. Should you opt in or should you opt out? This might seem like a tricky decision to make if this is your first course, but hopefully after watching this video, you'll soon realize that the decision is pretty simple. Huh. Hi, I'm Matthew and I want to talk about promotional agreements with Udemy. So when you first create a course, you get asked a bunch of statements and whether you want to opt in or opt out. At first glance, it might not seem worth it when you might see that Udemy can offer your course for dramatically reduced prices. So in the deals program, which is the first of three primary promotional campaigns, Udemy can reduce your course price down to no lower than 10 US dollars or, or equivalent for other countries, with the exception of these countries here. It might seem quite a big reduction, so you start and maybe you've got a course up for $200 and it's getting reduced down to 10. It might seem like so much money has been taken away, but the reality is, is that most courses on Udemy sell for probably around the $4 mark in total. Or, or that's the uh, you know the share that uh, that you typically get. So you've got to bear in mind that store fees and tax will get taken away from the price paid before the share gets to Udemy, and then that gets divvied up. So in the deals program, 50% to Udemy and 50% to the instructors. So you've got to wait until after the store fees and after tax first. The good news is, is that there are no upfront costs to any of these programs. Imagine you've opted into the deals program and you make a sale of a course reduced down to $10 by Udemy. And say this was through the web, so on a computer, and not through mobile. Neither Apple nor Google would have taken a fee as it was not done through iTunes or the Play Store. As I'm in the UK, tax isn't taken here at this point. This means that all of the $10 is split between Udemy and the instructors where Udemy takes 50% as their fee. So $5 is what gets to the instructor. Now consider an organic traffic sale again from the US, but made through the Play Store at $10 again. The Play Store takes its 30% first, leaving Udemy and the instructor with $7. 50% then goes to Udemy, and the rest goes to the instructors combined, so $3.50. You've also got the Marketing Bruce program, which is very similar to the Deals program, except the Marketing Boost program is run through affiliates, third-party sellers, and also advertising, so Facebook and Google Ads. The main difference is, is that when whatever gets through to Udemy, after store fees and tax, will get split 75% to Udemy, and then 25% to the instructors. It probably sounds not great, but again, wait, wait until the end of the video and you'll really see the difference between not opting in and if you do opt in. So in one of my previous videos, which I'll link in the description down below, I showed that from August 17 to uh, December 20, that I had earned through these courses uh, a roughly nine and a half thousand dollars. So a pretty good amount, I would say. And what's a staggering figure is that 98.69% of this this value, this, this sum of $9,500 came through either the deals program or the advertising, so the marketing boost program. And just $124-ish, uh, $124.41 actually was generated through myself and my friend Morgan actually pushing sales or just naturally without going through a deals marketing programs. It really highlights the fact that if we hadn't opted in, we would probably have maybe $100, probably less. Uh, and that's probably because of a reason due to social proof, which is a topic I might sort of talk about at another date. But social proof in a nutshell would be that a lot of people would probably feel more inclined to enroll into one of these courses. Should there be a lot of people who've already enrolled and rated it highly? Think about this on, say, an Amazon product. So if you're looking at the difference between two products and they're the same price, one of them has got one one star review and another one has got 100 five star reviews, you're probably going to go with the one with the good reviews and a number of people saying that. So this is probably a similar case with courses as well. Another thing to think about is that that $124 came from just five students. The likelihood of one of those five leaving a review or leaving good feedback or anything is probably very low. Not many students actually leave feedback or a review. Uh, probably another key one is that only three times have our courses ever been sold at full price and we've got about two and a half thousand enrollments in total so a really small percentage of things ever been sold at full price. 
So of the revenue that actually came to us through the deals and the marketing boost program, which was $9,300-ish, 66% came through the deals program and then 34% through the marketing boost program. I hope that's really helped you and uh, good luck with your courses if that's what you're pursuing. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.